Well, we just got done. A lot of work out at the farm, getting everything for the veggies and the green patch ready to go. So that was a lot of work, but we're gonna get cleaned up and we're gonna get some porkless burgers made and hopefully grilled up for dinner tonight. Guys, cleaned up, ready to go. I'm gonna get the KitchenAid out, get all my ingredients prepped, and we're gonna get to cooking and making these porkless burgers and hopefully by the end of the night, we can get them on the grill. All right, guys, to start off with, we're gonna use two cans of drain and rinsed white beans and two cans of drain and rinsed black beans. We're gonna put those in, just like that. And we're gonna let that mix. And one thing that I've actually found helpful is I've gotten the KitchenAid lid. Now these are not for this, but I've actually cut slots or cut this out. And what I do is set this in there. Then I put my trusty scraper paddle. To Catch it. In there. Can get it. Yeah, there we go. All right. I'm gonna set that down there. Close that. Lock it in. And then I'm gonna let that do the work. And I like this because I don't have to sit in there and you know keep pushing down and pushing down and pushing down. This kind of keeps everything nice and contained in there. So next we're going to talk a little bit about our dry ingredients. So we've got a fourth of a cup of vital wheat gluten. Then we have a various array of some different spices including red pepper flakes, some onion, some garlic um, powder. We've got some paprika, some thyme, and uh, those will all be in the ingredient list below. And then we have what is our, not the secret ingredient, but the key ingredient. And that is two tablespoons of sage. Now, if you don't like sage, I guess you don't have to use it. But if you want this to taste like an amazing porkless burger, then I would go ahead and go with the two tablespoons of sage. You might even be able to want to use more, I don't know. And we're gonna let this go, and you can see it takes doesn't take too long. We're gonna turn it up a little bit. Alright, we're gonna turn that down and we're gonna check it. And again, I really like this lid. And that looks to be a pretty good consistency. And as you can see, just like that, most of it is ground up and the rest of it will be ground up as we get the mixture going. So we're gonna stick with that. So we're gonna add our maple syrup, that's one third cup. Next, we'll add our vital wheat gluten, our spice mix, and most importantly, the sage. And that is a rubbed sage. Um, Really, any sage will work, but I've found that I, I really enjoy that rubbed sage, so. Now we're gonna turn this on. I'm gonna go slow at first, and then we're gonna let it go. Try to mix everything together without it shooting up in that KitchenAid. All right, we're gonna let that go for a minute, and then once it's done, we will get the patties forms, but just so you can see, I mean, this does not take too long. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna check it. All right, we are definitely getting there. Pretty good consistency. I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer. Make sure that everything, get those beans nice and pulverized. Get that mixed together. You can see it's got a good consistency to it already. And, and I always tell people the key is once you hear it start slapping the sides, uh, you know it's ready. Kind of like when bread is. Um, you know, if you do bread in like a KitchenAid, when you know it's ready is when you hear it hit the sides. And we're about there. Right. And that is exactly what we want. You can see there, it's 
It's formed nicely. The smell of this is amazing. You can smell the sage and the pepper. Oh, and, and the maple syrup you can even get, but beautiful. So next, we're gonna get that patted up. So I'm going to get the KitchenAid cleaned up. I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute. Don't have to, but I'm just going to um, while I get things cleaned up, and then we'll get those patties made. All right, got the KitchenAid cleaned up. Now we're gonna get these patties made. Now I use this patty press from Walmart. Um, I can leave the link below. I get a lot, a lot of questions on it. It works great, it's simple, it's cheap. Um, it just works fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we've got our mixture here. You can see it's a great consistency. And all we're gonna do is grab little handfuls, right? You'll get a feel for how much. You see how it holds together real well, real nice. Come on, whoa, whoa, there it is. We're gonna put it right there. Then we're gonna use wax paper. You can use parchment paper. Wax paper I find is a little bit cheaper, works a little bit better. But we're gonna put that on top, take her press. Down she goes. Just like that, might clean the side off a little bit. Boom. And there is a beautiful patty. And we're gonna put these in the freezer for at least a couple hours, overnight works. You're gonna keep them in the freezer anyways. And then once those get frozen, we're gonna put them on the grill. All right guys, we're at the grill. Uh, we're here at the short-term apartment complex that my wife and I are staying at while our house is getting uh, fixed up. So we've got the porkless burgers that have been freezing. Also got a jalapeno I'm gonna throw on the grill. But we're gonna get these on. The key is get the grill nice and hot, and then we're gonna put them on for three to five minutes each side, depending on how hot your grill gets and depending on how evenly distributed it is. So we're gonna get these put on and then we're gonna, we're gonna taste them. All right, it's been just over four and a half minutes. I flipped the first two and just wanted to make sure they were ready. As you can see, we've got Brett's side. We're gonna flip them, some beautiful char marks on them. We got our jalapeno going, but as you can see, looking fantastic. So we're gonna give those another about three minutes and then we are going to make us a porkless burger. It's been about three minutes. The burger should be ready here in a few seconds, but uh, really I wanna talk about the inspiration for these, bur these porkless burgers was by far that growing up in Indiana, it was not a summer without a pork, pork burger. So creating this recipe has been a, uh, a big thing for myself and my wife, we love them, and I know our family has enjoyed them, so I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm gonna go get one off the grill and let you know how it tastes. All right, guys. If you can see that, that is a beautiful burger. Porkless burger. I'm gonna put a little ketchup on mine. There you go. And a little spicy mustard. So stinking good. Your friends won't believe that this is made with beans, but it is, and it is delicious. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Uh, if you do, let me know how it goes. And also, if you wanna get up to date on more of these videos when I put, when I put them out, go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, and like this video. And uh, feel free to share this with your friends. I know uh, my family's enjoyed them. I hope you guys do too.